Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, my name is Tara. I've been asking each week up in the cards what you'd like to see next. You guys have really been loving my Instant Pot recipe videos, as well as my busy work series. So today, we're gonna be making a super easy and delicious tomato basil soup. We're gonna be using the Instant Pot. If you don't have an Instant Pot, you can still make this recipe. I will leave complete instructions for both methods in the description box below, along with the full ingredient list. Before we get started, if you have not already, I would love for you to be a part of this community. You do that by hitting the red subscribe button that's right below this video, and be sure to hit the bell icon, that way you're notified each time I post a new video. So if you're ready to make some incredibly easy and delicious tomato basil soup, then keep on watching. We are gonna start by grabbing our tomatoes. I'm using organic heirloom tomatoes here. These in particular are super sweet, so delicious. I'm drinking some kombucha. So we're really just looking to chop these up, they do not have to be perfect because this soup is going to be pureed. Tomatoes are such a wonderful source of calcium, potassium, and phosphorus. If you can't find fresh tomatoes, you can use canned, although I highly recommend using fresh if you can find it. So once we have all of our tomatoes chopped up, we're gonna set them aside. Then I'm grabbing a white onion and I'm just removing the skins and I'm gonna dice this up. Again, it does not have to be perfect. And I'm also grabbing two carrots. Carrots are great to put in a tomato soup because they're gonna add sweetness and also wonderful health benefits. So I'm just kind of chopping them into uniform sizes. Then I'm gonna grab some garlic. I have this garlic that I roasted in the oven I highly recommend using roasted garlic. It has a sweeter flavor. If you don't have any roasted garlic on hand, you can use just some fresh garlic, maybe about four to six cloves. Then we're grabbing our Instant Pot, setting it to saute on high. Once it's hot, we're gonna drizzle in some olive oil. Then we're gonna add our onion, our carrots, and we're gonna just give this a nice stir. Get this going first. Then we're gonna add our garlic. Mix it up really well. Now I'm adding some tomato paste. I love to add tomato paste to tomato soup. It gives it a whole other depth of flavor. Now we're gonna put in our dried spices. I love to toast the dry spices. All of the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Stirring it up really well. Now we're gonna deglaze the pan, so I'm just using a little splash of vegetable broth, making sure there's no burned bits on the bottom, and I'm gonna add some red wine. I love adding red wine to anything that has tomatoes. It just really brings out all of the flavor. And now for our secret ingredient, we're gonna add some brown rice. Brown rice is gonna to help to thicken this without adding any starches. Then I've added my tomatoes, all of my vegetable broth, giving this a really good stir. How easy is this recipe? We're gonna add some fresh basil. Basil is so good for you. It has antibacterial properties. It also has been shown to reduce inflammation. We're also gonna add some bay leaves. And then we're gonna just make sure everything is submerged. We're gonna grab our lid, making sure the silicone ring is on. We're gonna close the lid and set it to high pressure for 30 minutes. When the Instant Pot is finished cooking, we're gonna allow eight minutes of natural pressure. Then it's time for us to open the lid once the pin drops. This soup smells absolutely incredible. Let's make sure we remove the bay leaves. Now I'm gonna grab my immersion blender. I love my immersion blender. It makes it so easy to puree right inside of this pot. If you don't have one, you can transfer everything to a blender. Of course, be very careful. Next, we're gonna grab some coconut cream. I love using coconut cream here. It adds such a velvety texture. You can also use heavy whipping cream. We're gonna add some Italian parsley. And now, of course, I'm drinking some of that delicious red wine. I'm adding just a touch of turbinado sugar and some red chili flakes because I love a little heat. You can leave both of these out if you don't want the extra sugar or the heat. And of course, some salt and pepper to taste. Stirring everything up. Next, we're gonna add some Parmigiano-Reggiano cheese. I love using this cheese. It has such a sharp flavor, really adds to the dish. 
To keep this recipe completely vegan, simply omit the Parmesan cheese and stir in some nutritional yeast instead. It will still be absolutely delicious. What an incredibly easy meal to make, packed with nutrition, so incredibly satisfying. What did you think of today's video? Drop me a comment below, let me know either a recipe idea you have, are you interested in more soup recipes, chicken, beef, pasta, I would love to hear from you. If you liked today's video and you wanna see more like it, be sure to hit that like button and share this video on all of your social media platforms with your friends, your family, your coworkers, or anyone else that you know that is interested in healthy but delicious recipes. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.